Well, you can see that our saucer magnolia is just about ready to bloom, and with any luck, we'll miss the freeze and we'll get a beautiful show out of this tree, despite the fact that we have some problems down here at the base. Now, with most ornamental trees, you don't have to do a lot of pruning. Basically, it's the three Ds, and then you need to remove any branches that are rubbing or crossing. Well, that didn't get done on this tree, and here's what can happen if you let that go. You'll notice how these branches were crossing and they were rubbing here and now they're trying to grow together and you can see all the damage that's happened because of the rubbing pressure and the wind rocking this back and forth. Now we could prune this out but at this point it's probably going to be more detrimental to our tree to prune it out so we're just going to have to live with our mistake. Well there's another mistake that's been made on one of our saucer magnolias and that is that the the crotch angle was too narrow and the bark has actually grown together there. Now this is going to always be a weak spot for possible wind or for ice damage and so that's another place where we should have done some pruning earlier but now we're just going to live with it. Well the actual ornamentals that take more pruning are our shrubs and let's go look at some of our shrubs that need to be pruned right now. Well, the shrubs that need to be pruned right now are those that are going to be flowering later in the summer. And one of those shrubs is a buddleia here, or butterfly bush. Now, what you can do with these is really interesting because you can prune these back down to about six inches from the ground to keep them more compact. Because you'll notice this buddleia is kind of getting a little bit leggy and it's starting to lay down. So I'm going to take this back quite a bit almost down to the ground. Now you can do this with several different shrubs. Buddleia is one of them, and also Caryopteris. And you can also do this with Russian sage. Now it seems like quite a drastic thing to do, but you'll really get some good results from doing this. Now some other shrubs that don't take quite as drastic pruning, but that should be pruned right now are your crepe myrtle, and also any glossy abelias that you might have. Now there are a few shrubs that you do not want to prune right now, and these are shrubs that bloom in March, April, or May. Your early spring flowering shrubs, such as rhododendrons, or azaleas, or winter jasmine. You don't want to prune these now because what you'll be doing is pruning off the flowers. So what you want to do with those shrubs is wait and immediately after they flower, you'll do your pruning then. Now pruning, as I said again, can be very daunting and a lot of people consider it an art form. It's something that you just don't learn from one shot. It takes several years, but if you do this year after year, you'll get to where you know what the results are from your pruning cuts and you can tell what to do the next time. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.